Hello again. Well, today I'm going to share with you something that our upper elementary students uh, completed in December. Um, those are children using the Macmillan English Book 2. Um, and we've reached for Unit 7, which is all about famous towers. Okay, some famous towers there. Uh, the Eiffel Tower, obviously. Um, now, the children, uh, funny enough, were not so interested in these towers. Um, so, I thought I'd have them make their own towers. Um, but they could only use uh, paper straws and cello tape. Um, they also had to build it on a 21 centimeter square cardboard base, um, so they couldn't extend that. Um, well, let's see how they did. Okay, so let's take a look. This is um, Thursday's tower. Thursday's class built this um, rather skeleton box type tower. Um, they were actually copying the tower at Alexandria and the lighthouse, which is featured in the book. They got quite close. Um, they actually use a lot of sellotape. Somehow. It actually makes it extremely strong. So there's a hint. Um, now on to Friday's class. So Friday's class came up with this rather squat and solid looking tower. Um, how many straws did they use? I'm not entirely sure that one box. Um, but it's quite impressive. Um, now Friday's tower is actually taller than Thursday's tower. And okay, then moving up. And then I'm going to choose this class. Now choose this class. Uh, use three legs, so like a tripod. A little platform there. And then with this single straw rising up to about 135 centimetres. If we come to Saturday's class, Saturday's class built something that resembles a rocket. Central column and four supporting uh, columns. And again, that rises up using the single straw. Um, again, to about 135 centimetres. And so in this case, uh, Saturday's tower is as tall as Tuesday's tower. Um, so those are the four towers on the table. Um, we have five, five classes. The reason for that is that Wednesday's class uh, managed to build a tower that rises to 182 centimetres. So in that case, Wednesday's tower is taller than myself. Wednesday's tower is taller than Paul. And Wednesday's class is the tallest tower. Okay, but regardless of the height, um, I was actually very impressive, all the towers. They only had one lesson, that's about 50 minutes, um, to basically uh, grab the straws, grab the sellotape, and uh, come up with a tower design and make it. Um, so they really did very, very well. I'm very proud of every class and their efforts. Okay, well thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.